This is NSA 2021, section 1, question 14. So we're given a circle here that has two triangles in it. We have OPR, which has a length here of 7 centimetres, and we have PRQ, which has an angle here of 140 degrees. And we have to find out what the circle radius is in centimetres. So first of all, what is the radius? Where are we looking for on this um, circle diagram here? Where is the radius? Well, they're going to be these two values here that stretch from the uh, circumference of the circle to the middle. So I'm going to label those two R. Now, what else do we know about this circle? What tricks can we use to give us more information? Well, we can use our circle theorems. We have an angle here at the circumference, and what can we take from that? Well, we can use the theorem that the angle at the circumference is half of that at the angle at the centre. So if we times our angle here by 2, we get 280 degrees. And that corresponds to our angle at the centre here. So from this, we can work out our angle in our triangle there, which I'm going to call x. x must be 360, which is a full circle. Take away our angle there, 280. So our angle x is 80 degrees. So there we go. And what else can we know about this uh, triangle, this blue triangle here in the middle? We know it has two equal lengths. That must mean it's an isosceles triangle. So we can draw it kind of like this. So this is our uh, isosceles triangle. We have two uh, lengths R there and a 7 at the bottom and our angle of 80 degrees. Now, we can work out R by using um, some trigonometry. We can make a right angle triangle by splitting this isosceles triangle in half. So if we do that, we get our R as our hypotenuse. If we split this in half, we get 3.5 as our base length there, and we have an angle of 40 degrees. So now using trigonometry, we can work out what R is. But which operation do we need to use? We have two lengths. We have the opposite length to the angle and the hypotenuse. And what trigonometric function does that equate to? That's going to be the sine. So if we do the sine of 40, that is going to equal our opposite, which is our 3.5, over our uh, unknown length R. So to find r, all we need to do is times both sides by r and divide both sides by sine 40. So we get r equals 3.5 over sine 40. So that's our final answer there, and our answer overall is e.